Parkland's David Hogg just called out the entire U.S. Congress in defiant response to Santa Fe shooting. No one outside the local community is more upset about today's shooting at Santa Fe High School in Texas than the student anti-gun violence activists at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Having lived through a similar situation at their own school and spending the intervening months rallying and lobbying for political action to prevent any other student from having to lose their lives or their friends' lives, the Parkland students have become the go-to media commentators for every one of the unfortunately numerous subsequent shootings. They've also witnessed the inaction of local and national politicians in the face of overwhelming public pressure to pass legislation tightening loopholes in the background check process, banning assault weapons and high-capacity ammunition clips, or any other measure that can help prevent future massacres from taking place. So it's unsurprising that these young teens have developed a cynicism about politicians, particularly those who are on the NRA dole, and their public statements in the aftermaths of other shootings. Parkland survivor David Hogg, one of the most well-known of the student activists, weighed in on the response he now expects from bloviating politicians angling for a bit of free media exposure in the wake of the latest killings. It's amazing how politically perceptive Hogg has become in the three short months since the tragedy at his school, but having locked horns with Senator Marco Rubio on live TV and with Florida state politicians in Tallahassee, Hogg has learned that change doesn't come easy and never without a fight. He's also learned that the motivations of politicians have less to do with the wishes of their constituents and more to do with their wishes to keep their jobs and the campaign contribution flow coming from the NRA. It's a horrendous way to learn a civics lesson, but Hogg and his fellow student activists deserve an A for the lessons they've learned with extra credit for the tragic way they were taught these lessons.